My name's Tala Patel. I'm an artist that predominantly works with analog film, instant film. My area that I'm interested in is memory, place and identity. So I had a look at a few of the collection and they all looked amazing. But the sheep skeleton, I actually came in to have a look and the size of the sheep and how long it had been in the collection, it's been in the collection from 1963, all, it came all the way from London. And just it, just the structure and the, um, the shape of the bones, it really piqued up my curiosity about what I could actually do with this structural shape and how I could play with it and animate it and just it, what, all the possibilities that could come from um, using a sheep. There are a hundred Polaroids for sure. Once I had the um, design, it was actually wondering how I'd make it more interesting with the different um, backgrounds and actually the different colours because I've got some black and white prints in there as well. I think I really wanted something that would be seen from far away and actually would intrigue people to come through to actually come nearer to the piece. It was a lot of prototypes and putting things on the floor and deciding where things go and how they would balance up and how they would look in large scale. I think what I would like people to come away with is actually an interest in actually looking at the collection and actually realising that there's so many possibilities with all the objects that are actually in the collection that you could actually use for something very different to what it actually presents itself to be. I would love them to have a look at the different stories they can make up, the different designs, the different patterns. I think there's some endless possibilities that you could use with the collection in your own artistic work. They're all so brilliant. Um, but I do like Evie Kendrick's little narrative about how the, um, how the cat was alive and now it's mummified, which I think is such a, it's kind of a, a, a fun way of looking at yeah, at the object and it's just another way of actually looking at death as well so I think it's quite good I think it's got um, a few layers of meaning and I think also that comes back to the sheep as well because it's creating something after its death and it's it's creating something new